Hi friends, how are you? Fine. So this is the fourth lecture on the Browning version by Terence Nightingale. In fact, as I, I have already told you, this is not the whole play, this is only part of it. Alright. In fact, the most important part of it. And then the conversation between Tablow and uh, Frank continues. Then I said, I am sure you are exaggerating. This is about uh, a remark about uh, the Crocker Harris. Tableau says, no sir, I am not. In form the other day, uh, the context is that he is a feelingless person. You remember that, no? In form, in form means in the class. The other day, he made one of his classical jokes. <laughs> classical jokes means can be a joke in a classical language or one of his best jokes. It could mean both. Of course, nobody laughed. That's the worst thing, no? If you crack a joke and nobody laughs, laughs means this just like suffering crucifixion <laughs> in the class. Understand? Yes, laugh. Because nobody understood it. Myself included. Still, I knew he had meant it as funny. So I laughed. So I laughed. Out of ordinary common politeness and feeling, uh, a bit sorry for him for having made a poor joke. Now I can remember what he, what the joke was, but suppose I make it. Now you laugh. Now you laugh, sir. Then Frank, <laughs> Tablo, in a gentle throaty voice, that is again imitating his master, Crocker Harris, says, Tablo. You laugh at my little joke. I noticed. I must confess that I am pleased at the advance your Latin has made since you readily have understood what the rest of the form did not. Perhaps now you will be good enough to explain it to them so that they do can share their pleasure. So this is what Prabhu Harris told you. So you know, your advance. Advance means the progress that you have made. Understand? Progress you have made. So as you can see the words here, there are very few. We have today, exaggerate means say something beyond the truth. Say something bigger than, for example, if you see a small and he, then you say this is this is a this is a mountain that is exaggeration. Understand that? Or you say you I am standing in front of you, I am a human being, but you say I am a giant, then that is exaggeration. <laughs> Understand that? The next one of course is advance your Latin. So that's why we are here. Advance means progress that you have made in your Latin studies, in your classical studies. Infinitely relieved that comes, infinitely very much relieved, feeling comfortable, very comfortable, very much relieved. See, I, I was crossing the road and uh, I was about to, a bus was about to hit me, but it did not. So I was infinitely relieved, the can say. And then you have to whispering frantically, Frantically means, you know, the when when a rat sees the cat, what will be its, uh, <laughs> its attitude or its behavior? That is frantic, you know. Frantically means frightened. Is it? And whispering frantic, whispering means <sighs> saying that in a low voice, whispering frantic. So that we have come up to this, that is, is that the, uh, your advance? So the advance your Latin has made, the great advance, the progress that you have made. They said, oh, you, have, you have understood my joke, you enjoyed it, so it is, you should not keep it for yourself. What else you should do? You should uh, share it with others. But as he said, he did not understand that. Himself did not understand that. And how can you uh, explain these things to others? At this moment, the door opens. Uh, the door opens right, right side. The Lord 
up right say right is open stay in direction now milli and this who is milli is milli i told you now right from mr crack mr crocker harris not crocker harris but crocker harris yes and then and this she is a thin woman in her late thirties smart dress then school master's wives other school master's wife they are not as smart be dressed as mili she is smart and at the same time she is very smart be dressed maybe she might be uh, putting on a better makeup or she must be she is wearing costly clothes or ornaments and so on which normally the other master's wives don't therefore the dramatic says that this is why she is very smartly dressed in her dress. in her late that is smartly dressed than school master's wives other school master's wives she is wearing a cap and also carries a shopping basket and closes the door and watches so she is this and then she is watching what is going on Well, the conversation is between Tablo and Frank, and as we already seen, Frank is having some uh, some underhand relationship with the uh, Milly also. Some they some illicit we can say illicit relationship. Actually, this is already a sound. We have referred to this the illicit relationship between Agamemnon. Agamemnon was the commander in chief of the greek army in the war between in the trojan war so to say in the trojan war greek army while he was away commanding the greek army his wife titanestra uh, she sought another place that is i told you know illicit relationship and his name edistus edistus so edistus and titanestra they were having some uh, illicit relationship so that means she was unfaithful to her husband and the same thing is happening here also milly is unfaithful to her husband crocker hayes so she is having some relationship with the frank or frank is having relationship with the uh, milly so that is that background also you must keep in your mind Finally, what happens with the Clytemnestra and Agamemnon relationship? Clytemnestra and the Aegisthus together plotted to kill and murder Agamemnon. In this case, the murder doesn't take place. Physical murder doesn't take place, but the mental murder takes takes place. So that is, we will see as we proceed. All right. Now here, what happens is she is watching. And he said that, and she. A joke to sorry, uh, I said Frank says, uh, "Come along, come along, Tablo, more slowly about the move slowly about the dust that stays there in direction. Do not be so foolish as to keep a good joke to yourself. Tell that, tell that he stopped there. Why? Because." He breaks up suddenly, noticing Milly. Oh Lord! Frank turns quickly and seems infinitely relieved. Why? On seeing Milly, why? Was he did not complete that remark? Therefore he thought, Oh my God! She did not hear. He was about to say something, some uh, make some bad remarks about the uh, Crocker Harris. So. Tell the ah uh, ah, uh, so he was infinitely relieved when she when he saw her. If he had continued in that very first of all that the spirit of say enjoying the joke from the mouth of Tablo and then uh, again say some making some adverse comments comments on. Uh, Colonel Harris and so on. So, and suppose these things were overheard by his wife, then it would have been a very poor show. Therefore, he said, ah. and then he saw 
So he is infinitely relieved. He is infinitely relieved because for uh, by luck or by unluck, <laughs> he did not complete that sentence. He did not continue the conversation in that state, in that style. So he was infinitely relieved. Otherwise, he might make some adverse or bad remarks about Crocker Harris. See, seeing me, Frank, naturally, oh, hello, Frank, sir. Uh, oh, hello, Millie. Without expression, what did Millie say? Hello, hello. No expression, hello. That is, she comes down to the sidewalk and puts her basket on it. Tap go, moving up, left of Frank, whispering frantically. He's frightened. Do you think? What did he say? This shakes his head comfortingly. No problem. She did not hear. Because I am infinitely relieved. She did not hear. Lily takes off her cap and hangs it on the horse stands. Then he says, I think she did. Frank says. She was standing more there quite a time. I think she what is what are the we do not uh, we do not make any bad remarks. No adverse adverse remarks were made by me before that I could see her. I saw her, so I have infinitely relieved and therefore you should also be. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. She might have heard it, what of that? Because it was innocent. That remark was innocent, our conversation was innocent. There was nothing hidden in there. And then she was kind of trouble. If she did and she tells him, there goes my removal. Love's love is lost. <laughs> that is, I came here, extra work, I did everything. I laughed when he made a poor joke. I was polite to him. I was very happy, and uh, he was very happy about that. He got the impression that I have made great advance or great progress in my Latin studies. And he asked me to explain the uh, joke to others. He asked me not to keep the pressure to yourself, but also share it. So everything was getting fine. But now, if she heard it, and if she would tell my Remove. Here goes my room. The Royal Frank said, Nonsense. He crosses the fireplace. Billy takes the basket from the sideboard. That is a description. Again, sideboard. You have the question with it. Yes. Sideboard moves above the table and puts the basket on it. So, in this scene, we saw. Jokes cracked by uh, Coronel Harris, classical jokes, and it, its impact, impact of the jokes on the students. Students of the form, form means class. Tableau's response, also the response of other students. Tableau's response we saw, says, sir, I did not understand anything, <laughs> but I laughed. Out of sheer politeness, because I thought that the poor man, he made a poor joke, but still, if there is nobody to take it, it will be very bad. So I laughed. I didn't know. And then all the other students, were, they did not understand anything. So that is second point. That is Millie Sendry. Millie is Crocker Harris wife and what is Tarno's fake his promotion. So, so he says, if she did and if she tells, there goes my remote. That is the tragedy. Isn't it? So today we end up with a tragedy, <laughs> a possible tragedy. What is the possible tragedy? Sometimes he may not get easily uh, uh, relief. I mean, uh, removed. So now we have seen what we have seen about the Crocker Harris. Now you know he is very strict. 
he is a rule based, strict and rule based letter of the law. Not spirit of the law, but he follows the, uh, the not the spirit, but spirit also, but the letter of the law. He is the teacher of the classics. Uh, he teaches them Agamemnon, a tragedy written by Aeschylus. Uh, Aeschylus is considered to be the father of tragedy. And then uh, is very serious. He imposes impositions if students make mistakes. He is, uh, uh, as we have seen, he is, has no feelings, isn't it? He has no feeling. And uh, for missing a class, he will give extra class, I mean extra work. And uh, he is going to leave the school to, to take up appointment in another school next day. That is leaving for good, uh, saying goodbye. Then further we saw in the second lecture what we made, he is not an ordinary master, he is hardly human, he is very severe in punishment. He, but at the same time he has got a good hold on the students. See, he is not a sadist. Sadist means one who derives pleasure out of giving pain to others, not that. He is all shriveled up. He is an introvert, not an extrovert. He is all shriveled, uh, shriveled up. Uh, like a nut, a nut is shriveled up now. When you put it in the right condition, it will sprout. Otherwise, it is, uh, everything is within itself. That is shriveled up means, shriveled up. And he has no feelings. He does not like those who like him. That is a very strange situation. Everybody, if, if you say that I am a good teacher and uh, we all love you. I will, I will love you. <laughs> I will like you. But he is not like that. If I were for Christ and if you said that, Sir, uh, we love you, we, your classes are very good, then I will. But they, that is not the case with the, I mean, ordinary people. Dr. Harris is like that. And then further we saw that Dr. Harris, he cracks classical jokes that nobody understands. Nobody understands his classical jokes. And uh, this much we saw about Crocker Harris. Now about Tablo we saw, he is a boy of 16. He is studying in form 5th. He lost a day. He missed the day. So he has to do as, as extra work. He is very smart. He is waiting for his promotion. Isn't it? Very smart, and he now presently he is doing literature which he doesn't like. He wants to join science. Uh, he has some some bitterness towards Crocker Harris, but he, he respects him, and uh, he says that students he has got a good hold on the students, and this Frank doesn't like. Frank is jealous of that. See, in spite of all these negative qualities, if you want to say, and Crocker Harris is, is uh, liked by students, like uh, students like Tablo. And then we saw Tablo is, uh, he, he imitates his teacher. Whether it is good or not, that I cannot say. I am nobody to make a moral judgment about imitating teachers. For me, if you ask me, I like it. If you imitate me, then what are uh, sometimes it happens, you know, you know, art festival and so on, art festival, students imitate teachers. That's a good thing. You can see your faults as in a mirror. And you can also see your plus points as in a mirror. So imitating a teacher, I don't think it is anything bad about it. And uh, it is a students, uh, he, he tells Frank that teachers think that, masters think that, Students don't know anything about them. What he says, students know exactly who is who. Understand, who is a scientist, who is not a scientist. And he says there are two scientists in the school. The, the, this is a public school, there are two scientists. He says, he tells him, frankly, on his face he says. 
And then, of course, he expresses his feeling. Oh, uh, he said, uh, what, 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 what are our schools coming to, etc. He says, but we do not know how many is. Whether there are only two or more, we don't. So, uh, and then we say that, yeah, Diablo, Huisu, etc. So that means he has got some insight. He knows about the teachers and their behavior as well. And then, uh, Frank, of course, he is young, he is a science teacher. He is a bit jealous of uh, Crocker Harris because he may not, in spite of becoming friendly and very familiar with the students, he does not have a hold on the students. But uh, the fact that he is severe, he is sincere, he is, uh, uh, he is a taskmaster who Crocker Harris but still students have some respect and he has some hold on the students. And Frank is having illicit relationship with Crocker Harris' wife, which is not a good thing. <laughs> and then he says, Frank also encourages uh, Tablo to say more about uh, the, the, uh, the negative qualities of Tell more about the negative qualities of Crocker Harris. That is not a good thing for a teacher. A, te a teacher should never, especially with the student, share the habits, characteristics, and the way they behave in the, in the class, the way they teach, etc. A teacher should not share with the students, but a teacher can share the thing with the teacher. The teacher. So that is against professional etiquette. So he is like the Frank Harris does not observe professional etiquette. That is a very bad thing. No teacher should do like that. Understand? I hope that you have been following my classes and enjoying. So by tomorrow I think we uh, will be able to wind up. But before that you have that picture. This is an exercise. That means a part of a bigger play. The whole play is a the when the play was published and it was uh, uh, presented, then just a very popular play, this Terence Ratigan, and it is said that this has something to do with his own experience in the school that where he studied. Uh, Terence Ratigan, you can see in the uh, tableau is the the copy of Terence Rattigan as a student. Listen, his alter ego is or we say the other Terence Rattigan. In Tableau we see the other Terence Rattigan. And that's what the people say, whether how far that is true or, or not, we don't know. But maybe, because always things come up like this now, because from your experience. From your experience, naturally, it should come. So, my dear students, I hope you are enjoying. Although I am a crocker, I just <laughs> you want to call me like that. You can call me, I don't mind. Uh, if you don't, I am not a Frank. Don't call me a Frank. Understand? So, you can, uh, at best, you can say, I am a crocker, I just. Okay. In my student days, I was like that. Most students are like that, you know. They imitate teachers. Sometimes they miss class. And sometimes they say go for fishing or some kind of a trip and so on. So they miss one or two classes or even days there. So at that end, then what will happen is that the teachers concern you. Know, if they are, uh, uh, they are what do you must say that uh, liberal, they won't uh, become a taskmaster and ask them to come here to do extra work for your promotion and so on. But uh, I like Corona Harris because he observes the rules of the school. And that is very important for all the members of the staff. So this is my observation about this part of the play. So bye, have a nice time, enjoy your life. But before that, our action now is on a vaccine. Very important. You appeal to the cosmic energy. Understand? There is a thing called cosmic energy. So to appeal to that, 
axon of range to produce a vaccine. Do you see access to an effective vaccine is the surest access to our success. So let's all pray, let us all do whatever we can. Let us wish, let us uh, hope, let us have a strong desire, let us have a strong hope, that, uh, that let, let us, let us uh, visualize uh, the day is very near the, when the vaccine is ready and we will all be vaccinated and we will get protection from this killer virus that is Corona. Okay, so let's be optimistic. Bye, have a nice time, enjoy your life.